Okay, so for question three, we have to analyze the modes of operation for a BJT. Okay, so I'll just go over a quick uh, uh, explanation. What are the values that we need to look for in this table? So we have like VE, VB, and VC, and then we have to determine the mode of operation based on those uh, voltage values on each one of the of the terminals of the BJT, right? So if you remember the NPN transistor, so let me just draw it here. So there were N, P, N. Okay. And then we have the voltages. Here's VCD. Here's VB. So for cutoff operation, so we have like three modes of operation, like we have cutoff, we have saturation, and then we have active. Okay. So for cutoff, we, we must have the, so let me, let me give the names here. So it's the collector, the base, and the emitter. Okay. So for a cutoff operation, we must have a VBE that it's less than. So let me write here. So a VBE that is roughly less than 0 0.7 volts. Okay. So it depends on the doping profile. It depends on the BJT itself. But let's assume that for this for the case that we are analyzing here, that must be uh, 0.7 or around 0.7. So as you see in part A here, we have something that's 0.68. So for that condition, we say that it's not in cutoff because it's it's okay to have VBE uh, 0.68. It's roughly 0.7, so we are fine. Now, but if that voltage is less than 0.7, then that PN junction between base and emitter, it's, it's uh, reverse biased. And then there is no way current would flow from in in that direction, so we would just like um, be cut off. The the the, the BJT itself we would be turned it off. Now for saturation condition, we must have um, the PN junction between base and emitter uh, forward biased, so we need VBE roughly 0 0.7 volts. But we also need that VCB. Okay, VCB less than minus 0 0.4 volts or, so let's VCB, or VBC greater than 0 0.4. Because in this case, if VBC, or if you if we just reverse the voltage here, it would mean that for saturation, we need both PN junctions forward biased, right? So in this case, VBC should be greater than 0 0.7. Why not 0, uh, sorry, VBC should be greater than 0 0.4. Why not 0 0.7? Because of the profile, the doping profiles that we have here. So we consider that it's active for, for VBC greater than 0 0.4. Now, for active uh, operation, we need the PN junction between base and emitter forward biased, VBE should be greater or equals to 0 0.7 but the vcb should be greater or equals to minus 0 0.4 or vbc should be less or equal to 0 0.4 volts okay so those are the conditions that we that we we must have for, for each one of the three operating modes for an NPN transistor, right? So let's look at these, uh, let, let look, let's look at some examples here. So if you look at the first case, case example A, we have, we, we need a VBE greater than 0 0.7 in order for the BGT to be operating at, um, at active or saturation region. So because that is 0 0.6, right? 0 0.6 minus zero gives us 0 0.6. So then we can say that this one here, it's operating at cutoff. So cut off, okay? 
let's look at example B. So for example B, we have VBE to 0.7 minus 2, so it's 0 0.7. So the first condition for saturation and active operation is satisfied, right? But let's calculate VBC then. So VBC is 2.7 minus uh, 9, so that's minus 7.4. So VBC, it's less than 0.4 volts. So the condition for active operation, it's satisfied. So then it's active, right? And let's analyze example, I think it's E. So for example, we, we have 0 0.7 minus 0. So the condition for saturation and active operation, it's satisfied. But let's see VCB, so V or VBC. So VBC for that case, it's 0 0.7 minus 0 0.2, right? That's 0 0.5. And that means that VBC is greater than 0 0.4. So it's saturation operation. So this one here is saturation, okay? And then you can do the same thing for the other cases. Now for part C, so let me go to part C here. For part C, we have to analyze these conditions for for a case of a PNP BJT. So for a PNP BJT, we just have to analyze the same, uh, uh, we have to analyze the cases again, but then the equations, the conditions, uh, they, are, they are reversed in the case that for a PNP, we are not interested in VBE greater than 0 0.7. Instead, we want to see for, so let me write it again. So for cutoff, we want VEB less than 0 0.7 for saturation we want VEB greater or equal to 0 0.7 volts right but we also need uh, VBC less than minus 0 0.4 or VCB greater than 0 0.4 volts. And for active mode, we need again VEB greater or equal to 0 0.7, right? But then VBC should be greater than minus 0 0.4 or VCB should be less than 0 0.4, okay? So we just have to go over each one of those cases, verifying those conditions, okay? And then uh, they are basically going to tell you what's the mode of operation for each one of the examples here. So let me see, for example, uh, for the first case, we have VEB, so 0 0.4, minus minus 0 0.6 that gives us 0 0.6 so because we have VEB less than 0 0.7 we know that this one here is cut off right and let's take the second one so the second one it's minus 2 minus minus 2.7 this gives us 0 0.7 so VEB is greater than it's equal actually to 0 0.7 so now we just need to figure out if it's saturation or active so for uh, sat for active, we need VC minus VB less than 0 0.4. So VC minus 9 minus VB, it's minus minus 2.7. So it's minus 9 minus plus 2.7. This gives us uh, something around 6.3, right? So uh, minus 6.3, so it's indeed uh, less than 0 0.4. So it's active okay and just one thing here is that if we're operating at saturation condition then usually we have like a VEC that's different than 0 0.3 volts for the case of a NPN transistor so if we figure out that it's operating at saturation usually we fix the value of VEC to 0 0.3 volts in a case of a NPN transistor okay so just uh, remember that okay so that's it for this problem